What's up everyone, Casey here and welcome back to another first impressions video. So today we're going to do a first impressions video for Yeast 8 Lacrimosa of Donna. Now I can't actually say I've ever played a Yeast game. Um, any of its predecessors 1 through 7, never played it. Don't know much about them. So we will see how well this game is played out. So I'm just going to do easy. I've heard these, these games are pretty good. Let's see, so here's the controls. Okay, so already on the screen there's a lot going on, so... Okay, we got our jump. We have our attack. Okay, so there's a... It looks like a little campsite. Rest in the tent at the camp. No, let's not do that right now. Fish soup. So it looks like there is some uh, cooking involved. Which obviously I'm assuming that the cooking and the eating of the meals gives you bonuses and maybe heals your health. Leave it to me. Let's go. So you can switch between the characters. Switch. I really like the art style too. I... Okay, so there's like a dodge roll. You actually open the menu with L2. I think that's kind of interesting. Oh, that's the item menu. Okay, so this is the actual menu. So we have Adol, Laxia, and Sahad. I'm guessing that's how you say their names. Uh, okay, so we have a skill menu. Okay, so to use our skills, you have to hold R1 and hit the corresponding button. Oh, okay. I'm guessing that this is probably like a save crystal, maybe? I'm not sure. It's not going to show us that in the demo, so I guess we'll go ahead and move along. I'm guessing by the looks of it, it's probably going to be like a action RPG Kingdom Hearts type of combat which is not a bad thing I absolutely love Kingdom Hearts I've played all the games um, you guys have obviously seen my playthrough on the channel if not you can check that out Raised Coral Forest. Huh? This is? It's a mysterious place. Looks like someone dug it out of this cliff. Oh, it looks like a coral reef. It's possible that it's a coral reef that bulged out of the water. Is that even possible? This is a pretty complicated area, but are we searching here too? We should search it. You're right, castaways may have wound up in here. This place may also lead to somewhere else. We should probably search this place now to make our lives easier later. Yes, let's go. Why, certainly. Okay, so it looks like we've got some monsters ahead. 
Okay, yeah, so it's definitely like a, a Kingdom Hearts style combat. So you actually uh, fight the enemies out in the field instead of it going to a a different screen or a different combat, you know, area, I guess you could say. And actually the combat's pretty fluid. Uh, I would I would compare it to maybe like a Tales, a Tales of game. Um Okay, so we learned Rising Slash. So it looks like the enemies can just, you know, randomly jump in and gang up on you, so that's pretty cool too. I guess if you're playing on a higher difficulty that would uh, make things a lot harder. Oh, what am I doing? So we can try our other character's attacks. Obviously, Laxia is uh, not very strong. We'll try Sahad. He's got like a huge pickaxe kind of thing. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, I would definitely say the com uh, the combat's reminiscent of uh, Tales of game, but instead of uh, you going into a different uh, screen to fight the battle, fight the enemies, it's out in the f open field, which that's also kind of nice that you don't have to transition to a different part of the game just to do that. So because it takes it more time, because then you have like the victory screens and you know all of that and. You don't really have to worry about that here. You can just pick up your items and, you know, continue on. Which, that's really nice. It's really refreshing to have that kind of, uh, that kind of gameplay in combat versus a lot of the other JRPG games. These crabs are pretty annoying. <laughs> I guess we can't hit that. I don't know which way to go. I keep wanting to hit square to attack for some reason. Okay, so it looks like every time you level up, uh, just pretty much just like any other JRPG you level up and your health is regain you gain all your health back sorry apparently I can't speak tonight um, let's see here let's move into this next area oh what are these things Okay, so appar apparently you, you can gather like different materials uh, in the field. So I'm guessing that you can maybe upgrade weapons or craft new weapons, possibly. Did I fall back down there? Where am I at now?
don't exactly know which way I'm supposed to be going, but we're just we're just gonna explore. Holy crap! This thing is huge. It's like the daddy crab. <laughs> Papa Crab, do not kill me. It kind of reminds me of the, uh... Ah, uh, what is it called? It's the, uh... The Crab from Moana. I can't think of its name. I, th I, wanted to, I thought that was a boss for a minute, but apparently it's not. Maybe a mini-boss? Yeah, collect those light bones. Hey, that's... It's no big deal. I'll make a splint for your ankle just in case. Why do I have to be the one in this mess? This wouldn't have happened if the ship didn't sink. Oh. Who are you guys? Where did you come from? They both look familiar. Looks like they were, like they were both passengers on the Lombardia. What? Looks like you're wearing expensive clothes. Who are you? Me? Sir Carlin. My name is Carlin. I'm a proud Roman noble. The Roman Empire. And what about you? My name is Kiergaard, and I am a physician. Kiergaard. You're a doctor? You sound very reliable. They literally just met him. <laughs> um, might you be? Adel and the others introduce themselves and explain the situation. Cursed desert, de cursed deserted island, desert island, cursed deserted island. What's going to happen to us? A ship. Someone prepare. Re, blah, 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 blah. Someone prepare a ship. We need to get off this land as soon as possible. If we were able to do that, we wouldn't be in this mess. So, what are you two doing here? Well, we were staying at the location where we washed ashore, but it didn't seem like anyone was coming, so we decided to look for others. I didn't think it was a deserted island. I see. I understand the situation now. It'd be better for us to go to a castaway village. How is this happening? This uh, Sir Carlin guy is pretty ugly. Very poor character design. You there, girl. She has a name? Me? Based on your appearance, you must be a noble like me. Tell me, which family are you from? I'm a member of the Roswell family from Garmin. Garmin? Are you a noble from the country? The uh, countryside? I can't talk tonight, guys. Roswell, hmm. I think I've heard that name recently. Whatever, daughter of Roswell, lend me your shoulder. That's odd. Let me your shoulder. Why me? Whoa. Why make the girl support the fat guy with the sprained ankle? I'm allowing you to take me to the castaway village that you spoke of. As you can see, I haven't injured my foot. Oh my god, he's such a baby. What? 
Come on now, hurry. You can carry me if you want. Nobody wants to carry you, dude. Sir Carlin, there's a problem. I'll guide you guys to Castaway Village. What? Oh, look at this random guy. You're... Why are you here? I had some errands to run, so I was in the area. My buddy here saw you guys from the sky and told me about it. Found Adel, found Red. Oh, I see. I was about to head back to the village just now anyway. I can take those two on my way back. But I don't want a filthy man like you. Well, that was rude. These guys need to search for other passengers. If you want to get out of here, us survivors need to help each other out. Could you please lend us a hand? Fine, hurry up and take me. So do you not want me to carry you? There's no need, I can walk on my own. Yeah, see you just wanted the pretty woman to carry you, you fat piece of crap. <laughs> Thank you very much. What a weird old man. That is the understatement of the year. Adel, was it? May I speak to you for a second? Your title, adventurer, it's quite unique. Thank you very much. I've never heard of it before, but I think it's a nice title. I'm going to trust you as an adventurer, so I have something to tell you. There was actually another castaway that was with us earlier. Why isn't this person with you now? You've just seen how Sir Carlin is. This lady couldn't stand him. She's most likely still at the location where we originally washed ashore. That's cause for concern. Where is this location? If you can get through this forest, you'll find a shore. It's around there. If you find her, could you please talk to her? She's there alone? That's kind of sad. Yeah, she's a courageous person, but she is a lady. I have been worried about her the whole time. Understood. We'll get going right away. Yes, please find her. Alright, please excuse me too. Thank you very much for everything. Please excuse me too. That's odd. He truly is a doctor. He's very easy to work with. But on the other hand, Sir Carlin. Let's get through the forest and find that shore. Sir Carlin joined Castaway Village. Kiergar joined Castaway Village. Alright guys, we are back on the road again. I, I still think that's a save point. That was a pretty long scene. Kind I was kind of surprised by that. Okay, so... Holy crap. It's a giant turtle. Serpentus, Merciless Herald of w Sorrow. Okay, guys, our first uh, boss fight. Is it our first and only? <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we got the boss's health bar down there. Oh, looks like we're doing pretty good. We're just going to stay at its tail. Get back there, Adel. I'm just gonna skip around and use everybody. Or stay away from that poison breath. Or whatever it is. That's what I'm talking about. I like that nice spin attack. Alright, let's switch back to Adel and finish it off. Take this, Serpentus. Serpentus. Whatever your name is. 
giant lizard turtle thing. All right, that was a flashy fireworks show. You know, I honestly thought the demo would end right after that fight, but it did not. So we get to move on. So maybe it'll end after we find this lady, this courageous lady who hated the fat guy. <laughs> Could this be a corpse? It must have been here long before our arrival. Based on their attire, the purse is likely part of the same crew as the other pirate we found. Look. An odd pair of gloves are on the ground. Perhaps we can use the use of the, use these somehow. Can you pick them up, Sahad? Me? Any true man would take the initiative in a situation like this. I'm doing this for our survival. Gulp. Rest in peace, dead pirate guy. Grip gloves obtained. Adventure gear. Adventure gear helps to progress the adventure. Effects activate when equipped via the item menu. Okay. So, we're familiar with the item menu. Since we have them now, why don't we try wearing them? In for a penny, in for a pound. Alright, so we got those equipped. Approach Ivy to climb it. Knock that tree over. Ah, oh, more crabs. Oh, there's a chest. Go grab that. Five iron ore. None of those giant crabs. Oh, what is this thing's name? Gualangia? Gualangia? Alright. Have another chest up here. Revive medicine obtained. I don't have time for you people. Rainbow Falls. So that must be like a special discovery point, I guess.
So grab this chest, iron ore three. So we'll climb up more of this ivy here. JRPG game that's uh, new <laughs> interesting okay what the crap just happened all right so we got strength elixir so I'm guessing that increases our attack power Hopefully this takes us all the way back up. And it does. Got three antidotes. Alright, so go back over this way. Try not to fall down in the chasm again. Won't be making that mistake. I have a feeling like they're all pirates. Like it just gives me a very piratey vibe. It's like a pirate JRPG, which I mean, it is not a bad thing. I like pirates. Alright, so we'll go this way. Anything back here? No. We got some eggplant. Are we ever going to be out of this forest? I think we might almost be there. Oh crap, what is that? This isn't good. It's a pretty interesting creature. Clarion, Hermit of the Silent Forest. So we're gonna have to beat this thing in order to get across, which is fine by me.
I'm really liking the soundtrack too. The music in this in this fight right here is pretty nice. Just keep wailing on it. Oh, we fell off. Oh, of course. It's gonna have new attacks. It's bringing its buddies to the party. Let's see, do we have any... Oh yeah, that fish soup came in handy. Taking out Clarion now. That was a very interesting battle. Oh, thank you very much for playing the Yeast 8 Lacrimosa like Donna demo. This concludes the demo. Wow, pretty straightforward. Alright, so I would say, I mean, I really like the combat system. It's very reminiscent of Kingdom Hearts, Tales of. I like the fact that you can fight the enemies on uh, in the field as well as you know obtain all the items and get your materials and things like that and you're doing everything in the field and not have to go to a separate menu for battle or anything like that separate area there's no like no victory poses no like experience screens anything like that like everything is all on the same screen and I love that about this uh, it's got like a piratey feel to it which I really like pirates so that's always you know a welcome addition um, I would definitely say overall my first impression of this game is a 4 out of 5 I would definitely want this in my collection this is this would be a really good game to play and I'm definitely going to try to pick this up eventually and maybe if I like this one then I'll try some of the other East games. Alright guys, so 4 to 5, pretty good game. Yeast 8, Lacrimosa of Donna, get it. You will like it. And maybe if I get the game in the future, there might be a playthrough. That would be great for the channel. Alright guys, so I want to thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video today, remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.